Good afternoon. My name is Tom Brinsonoff, certified master mechanic out of Reading, Pennsylvania. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about troubleshooting oxygen sensor problems. Now, oxygen sensor problems, um, basically when you have an oxygen sensor problem, you're going to have a check engine light. Um, some of the symptoms of having a bad oxygen sensor, um, one is poor fuel economy. Um, the second would be uh, maybe a, a rougher idling engine, um, hesitation, stumbling. Um, the biggest one is uh, the check engine light. The only way to really diagnose um, a bad oxygen sensor is uh, having diagnostic equipment that most shops have. It's several thousand dollars to have this equipment. Um, real, real quick, you could probably pull into your, your local parts store, your auto zones, uh, even some I think your pep boys might even actually come out and uh, plug in their scanner and give you a code. Um, and it'll basically tell you which auction sensor is bad. Um, outside of that, taking it to your local garage, they're going to charge you 70, 80 bucks um, just to hook it up and say, hey, you got a bad auction sensor. Stop by your local parts store, a lot cheaper. Um, other than the symptoms I told you before, those are the, the key points. Uh, a lot of the Volkswagens, if you have a Volkswagen out there and you have an auction sensor problem, you will know it because 90% of the time they don't run um, and they won't start. Um, other than that, your, your key symptoms, your check engine light, your, your hesitation, your stumbling, uh, rough idle, um, and poor fuel economy. That's the biggest one. Other than that, those are your, your biggest uh, ways to troubleshoot a bad auction sensor.